it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 10th. The, we do know that the timing is fluid, right? So this could happen at any time. These readings are timeless. So what do we have for a message today? What do we have? Page of Swords. Page of Swords. Now, Page of Swords is, is inquisitive. We have somebody here that is observing. It looks like they have some sort of information. There may be an investigation going on here. Uh, mm. I think we have somebody here that is keeping something to themselves. They're keeping something to themselves. They're not expressing it quite yet. They're in a period of observation. I feel like this per somebody is feeling a little discontent. They've received some news that pr they probably didn't want to hear. This is conflicting news, uh, you know, that has made them, you know, not happy. Okay, this is somebody's not happy and they're thinking, thinking about their next move, uh, how they're going to handle this. You know, they've received some news. How am I going to handle this? Um, this is discontent. I feel like we have a, a somebody here that is uh, not happy with some news that they have received and they're thinking about, you know, their options. Emperor reversed. Now the emperor reversed is out of control. You know, lack of control. We have somebody here that is typically very, very controlling, but they're probably losing their power. This is not taking responsibility. Somebody that is corrupt, that does things that are against the law. This could be a person that is inexperienced, but pretends they have a lot of experience. This is somebody that is entitled, could be a father. We could have a father that deserts somebody in the time of need. Now, this is a child, and this is a father. So we could have something happening between a father and child, just, just, just saying. I mean, this doesn't have to be a child. It could be anybody, but typically pages, you know, can resemble children, especially right next to the emperor. So, I mean... This could be father and child, doesn't have to be. But anyway, the emperor in reverse is somebody that is very controlling, okay? Uh, that really doesn't have the experience, but uh, likes to be in control. Now, this is losing stability or lack of stability, lack of structure. This person doesn't plan effectively doesn't really accept responsibility. Now this, this, hmm, I'm not sure if a child is going, or it could be this father's child. I mean, this could be a husband. I don't know. It could be a boss. But this is somebody that is receiving a message. I feel like the message is about this person. This is a masculine energy. King of Pentacles reversed. Now, definitely unstable, insecure, uh, illegal. Somebody does think something illegally. You know? Not really interested in responsibility at all. Doesn't plan. Yeah, it's interesting. We have somebody here that just doesn't follow through. Now, the King of Pentacles reverse is somebody that makes poor, right next to the Emperor reverse. We, and it's a masculine energy. It is. This is somebody that is lazy, that makes poor financial decision decisions, that just doesn't. Uh, this person is unhealthy, irresponsible, probably unfaithful, not very qualified, 
very controlling, materialistic, ruthless. A message is coming about this person, put it that way. Okay, a message is coming about whoever we're talking about. This, it could be a Capricorn, because both of these can represent Capricorn. It could be a Taurus, it could be a Virgo. Doesn't have to be. It could be anybody. Whoever this per it could be a, a air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be anybody. I'm just saying. Could be an Aries. Uh, could be anybody. But this is somebody that doesn't really want responsibility. It's like not really this person is entitled, but doesn't and 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 wants to have all the nice things, but doesn't want to work for them. Interesting. A message is coming. It's probably not going to be a message you want to hear with that page of swords. High Priestess. So observing. I knew there was some sort of observing going on. Reflection, investigation. It is, I knew it. There is definitely a time of reflection. With The High Priestess is somebody that is very spiritual. Has a connection. Listens to their intuition. Somebody's intuition may be telling them that somebody is falling apart. Well, if that's the case, they are absolutely falling apart. Um, the high priestess um, is somebody that is very intuitive, very in touch. Typically a loner. So the high priestess is a loner. Somebody may be becoming this person over here is observing a situation waiting to hear knows that something is going to happen this person is mentally sharp not only are they are sharp they're intuitive so we have an intuitive here that is is definitely waiting knows that something is going to happen with this person Typically, this person, you know, this person is very shallow. Anyhow, um, somebody could be taken from their seat. I don't know where that mess, but I just heard that in my head. A high priestess is a spiritual person that has received some sort of message or knows that something is about to happen. Somebody may be receiving a message from a tarot reader, a medium, a psychic, somebody that is an empath or somebody that is very spiritual. So you may have received a message. If, you know, whoever's giving you this message, I would say that it's probably a real, whatever, they're, it's real, okay, because this is an intuitive that is delivering a message or knows. Anyhow, let's keep going. The high priestess, typically, if this is you... This at the high priestess, high priestess typically is very self-sufficient. She is a lo she or he is a loner. Um, doesn't tends to not really want to be around people. Would rather be alone. This person would rather be alone than with others because they don't need they don't need the. Uh, They, don't, they just don't need. They just don't need everybody else's opinions. They just go with their gut. They don't care what everybody else thinks. The high priestess would rather be alone and listen to her gut and her intuition than uh, have a thousand friends on Facebook. Anyhow, let's keep going. Um, anyway, the high priestess is as a loner. Okay, she's she's not into. Uh, she's not very social. She observes. She's she's the one that you find in the corner. Uh, with not very many friends, okay? Anyhow, um, justice, justice. So we have some, we could have some karma here. We have some uh, legalities, news of legalities. There is some news of legalities coming for this person. Somebody may have, and it may be this person received news, you know, something about court because this is court related or, you know, something to do with the justice system. This is about restoring balance.
somebody is about to receive a message that they don't want to hear, even though they probably knew this was going to happen. They sensed it was going to happen. There is some sort of karma that is coming. Everything has turned out as it should. But this person is probably going to get angry because the emperor in reverse is a tyrant or somebody that gets very angry. This is insecure, unstable, ruthless energy. This, this, this justice card, though, this is about the laws of karma. Okay? And, you know, karma sees straight through the situation and we may have somebody here this person who has been playing two sides you know they haven't quite been telling the truth you know they tell one person one thing and another person another thing and they've been and there's some sort of secrets but whoever they're dealing with is very intuitive and knows what the truth is okay this is somebody you can't hide the truth from the high priestess The high priestess has observed alone their whole life. Doesn't listen to other people's opinions. Anyhow. Um, so somebody has been... It's almost like they've been lying. They've been lying and, and the laws of karma have put them face to face with somebody that can see right through the lies. Anyhow, this justice card is truth. So there's a fair and just decision being made based on the truth. For this person right here. Ace of Wands reverse. I'm going down. Ace of Wands reverse going down. This person going down. Something is not coming to fruition that this person thought was going to come to fruition. Something didn't materialize. Hmm. Empress. Empress. So the em and it's upright. So the Empress is the birth of a new life. She gives birth to a new life after pain. There's pain that comes before this new life is, is birthed. <laughs> Okay, so this is about abundance and unconditional love. This is, I was going to put it right here. So we have an empress involved here. It's a mother. This is a mother. This empress is very abundant. She's very abundant. She's very self-sufficient. She's very comfortable. This is the birth of a new life, somehow. We have a mother, but this is something going down. Now, I'm not sure if it is a mother. This could just be, this is a very beautiful woman that is wife material okay she's wife material she's mother material she's a natural she can she can make anything happen she's very creative she's a creator she takes care of everybody with love so she is a lover she is a lover this ace of wands is not good somebody is being weighed down No desire. No desire. So this 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 king this emperor, there's no drive, there's no ambition, there's no desire to accept responsibility. It, may, it must be the mother is doing everything. This is a mother, this is a father. 
Hmm, something's going on here. Could be husband and wife. I'm not sure. Interesting. Oh, we got two. Four of cups and the five of cups. So this is deep sorrow. Five of cups is deep sorrow. It's sadness. Definitely discontent. We have somebody here that has missed an opportunity or they're missing an opportunity they're not putting in effort when they should be putting in effort or when they were supposed to put in effort and karma is here there is some sort of karma here justice is about to be served for this individual that doesn't accept responsibility period anyhow five of cups five of cups is sadness of cups is discontent a lost opportunity somebody has lost an opportunity with an empress this empress has no desire she has no desire whatsoever she'd rather be alone she would rather be alone the high priestess is somebody, I'd rather be alone. I'm, I'm going to work on my spirituality. But I feel like there's a child involved here. Empress is about growth. She's going through a period of growth. She, she's starting a new life after experiencing some sort of painful separation from this jackass. Sorry. That slipped. This guy doesn't want any responsibility, period. Okay? Well, the karma coming, so that's a good thing. Anyhow, um, justice is about to be served in some way. But I don't think she's, you know, she's doing quite well. She's very, very abundant. She's she's growing, right? She's going through a period of incubation. She's She's, everybody loves her. But she has no desire whatsoever to uh, go back by the looks of things. The lovers reversed. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, so there's a separation here. This is the end of a contract. It's the end of a contract. There's no compatibility here. It's a detachment. Somebody is detaching from a contract. And it's because it's about self-love. And there's, there's just a conflict here. There's too much conflict. There's disharmony. There's one-sidedness. So now this empress is glowing, doing her own thing. And she's separated from this ass. And I feel like this person over here is going to be getting some sort of karma. A message that he doesn't want to hear. And karma works in mysterious ways. Judgment. Yeah, well, if we don't have karma here, I don't know what we have. Because this is a double karma. Okay, this is, this is double karma. Right here. Karma, 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 karma. Whew, are you ready to be judged? Okay, there is, there's legal issues here. There, whether it is the universe or it is the actual, you know, earthly law that is stepping in. This is, this is the law stepping in. Okay. This, this, there's going to be news of, of, of uh, something legal, legal implications of some sort. Okay. And it could cost a lot of money. Somebody could be losing something that they wanted to get. You know, because that's a pentacle. Something that they could touch, they're not getting it. It's being taken away. They're not getting it. They may end up paying a lot of money. Something of value is being taken away from this controlling individual who has a big ego. 
This person has a very big ego, okay? Whoever this person is. Something is being taken away from that person. The laws of karma sees right through the situation, okay? So a judgment is about to be made, okay? And this is the end of things. Judgment is the end. The trial is over, okay? The trial is over. Somebody uh, looks to me like they made a poor decision. They have experienced a loss because whoever they were dealing with, this this woman is has everything she needs, okay? She's very comfortable. She's set. She is set. Looks like she's looking at the two of cups as well. If you look down here, she's looking at two cups now. She's looking at another partner. She has another partner here. If she hasn't met this partner yet, he coming. This guy's probably been hoping for some sort of reconciliation. I don't see it coming. I see it being over. This is a wake-up call. This dude is going to receive a wake-up call. He's going to be held accountable for his actions because truth, 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 truth is going to be revealed. You know, and whoever they're trying to pull the wool over is too wise, intelligent, and intuitive to pull the but to pull the wool over, okay? This person is spiritual. They've spent a lifetime of observing. You can't pull, whether it's a judge, it could be a judge. I don't know who it is. Whoever this person is, is you can't pull the wool over this person. This person has spent, and I said it at the beginning, a lifetime of observing. So whoever this person is that has observed their whole life is going to be making a decision based on what they, their experience is. Okay, the high priestess becomes the high priestess from life experience, period. And intuition. So anyhow. It's almost like, it's almost like a bench because this is like a bench. Is that person sitting on a bench? So I'm not sure what is going on. Um, but there's, and it could be a judge. It could be somebody sitting behind a bench that is making a decision. There is a decision that is being made based on some sort of truth. And it, and it could be a universe. Uh, somebody, you know, it could be a planetary. It could be uh, Saturn. It could be Pluto. It could be, I don't know who it is, but karma. Okay, put it that way. There is definitely some karma here. Somebody is about to pay. It's like this is your this is this is your this is the consequences. This is consequences, consequences, consequences. So judgment is a card of release, forgiveness, absolution. Are you ready to be judged? Are you ready to be judged? Truths are about to be revealed. I think there's going to be a big loss. That Ace of Pentacles is reversed. This is a loss of something. A missed opportunity. A lost opportunity. This dude lost an opportunity because of his irresponsibilities. Because he was irresponsible. His ego and his need to control got the best of him. He deserted. It feels like a child in the time of need. And I'm not, and I don't know if that's it, but it feels like it, or it might not be a child. It could be a lover. Okay. Because the lovers is here, but it's in reverse. This is the end of a contract. Okay. It is. It's a separation. And I feel like this dude is grieving over a loss of a separation. He is grieving. I think this one's healed or she's done a lot of healing. She seems up, she's upright. One more card. 
that's it one more card a lot of majors here so this tells me that the universe this is universally driven okay majors uh, judgment justice high priestess emperor Lovers, Empress, a lot of majors. When you get the majors, that means that it's driven by the universe. It's out of your control. The universe is causing this karma to be delivered at this time. Everything is going to turn out as it should. It is. It is. Everything is going to turn out as it should. It is. Somebody not going to be happy, though. This person right here, angry. What's this person going to do? What's that person going to do? Last card. What is this emperor in reverse? What's, gonna, what's going on with this guy? What's, gonna, what's, go, what's he going to do? What's going to happen? This person doesn't take responsibility, isn't interested in helping. He is corrupt. He engages himself in criminal activity. Um, is power hungry, deserts you in the time of need. Uh, this person is a tyrant, but even, maybe even a narcissist. Um, the emperor in reverse is really unstable. Um, mean. Cold. There it is. Five of total ruin. Five of pentacles reversed. This is t disgraced. This is a major loss. Could be a collapse of an empire. Eight of cups reversed on the bottom. Pretending to be happy. Superficial and shallow, which I already knew. Apology. Refusing. This guy lacks, lacks growth. Lacks self-esteem. Wishes he could go back, but it's too late. Disgraced. Total loss. He, this person's going to experience a total loss of something that he wanted to keep. He wanted to hold on to. It's being taken away. Responsibility is being assigned, period. And it doesn't have to be a dude. It could be a dudette who's very controlling. Be prepared to receive some direct communication from, or a message. This message is going to surprise you. You're the fool. The fool in reverse. That is reckless behavior, bad timing, unprepared, foolish, lack of judgment. This is somebody who ignores advice that is about ready to fall. This is a fall. I don't know. I don't know exactly what is going to happen, but I feel like there's going to be extreme financial hardship. Somebody thought they were going to get something that they are not going to get, and they are going to be very embarrassed by this loss. Meanwhile, she's looking at the Two of Cups. Good luck.